Hi, can you hear me now? Sorry about that. I had to talk to Brian and he called me like five minutes before we went live on stream. So I wanted to continue the call. But this is my uh, this is how I hold the, the phone when it's on speakerphone. I just set it on top of my drink. And then uh, I, I don't like holding the phone, right? And my headphones are in the other room. So, uh, um, yeah, so this is my speakerphone, speakerphone holder. <coughs> so apologies. I am uh, unmuted now. So hi, how are you? Um, we've got notes. We've got things to do. We got uh, we got shipments coming. We got products going. So uh, yeah, it's good. All right. So hang on. Let me get arranged here because right when I started to get everything set up, Brian called. But we needed to talk because we didn't talk last week. We always talk on Thursdays. Last week's Thursday was Thanksgiving. Hope everyone had a good one. Uh, so let me let me check on check up on all these um, all these alerts. We got a lot chat. Y'all are awesome. Let me see. How can we go? How far back can we go? Let's see here. Kazra followed. Power Belly, 31 months of subbing. Shoe Bamboo, what a great name. 29 months of subbing. Alan Chaos Shutko, 18 months of subbing. Tony, 33 months. He's gaining on it, folks. Cal Riddle, 31 months. Carol, two months. Rewizzles, 100 biddies. Kless, 22 months. Hells, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of bits. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, no, it was me. Um, I figured I'd just go ahead and fire it up, and uh, we'd have a, a one-sided, uh, one-sided conversation. <laughs> I do love that unicorn hells. That's really cool. That is super cool. Uh, good morning, Sarah. So good morning to all of y'all. We got a hype train going already. Level three. We had. I should go on to mute more often. And apparently we have the hype train is how we do mute. Uh, yeah. Speaking of new colors, I'm, I'm going back through some of these chat uh, comments. Speaking of new colors, those feeds from Gravitas. So one of the frequent questions <clears throat> um, I get is why can't we have um, color coordinated feeds? And, you know, maybe... Uh, Maybe Ben is is going to do that. So, yeah, I thought those pictures were good. I don't know if they were real. Like, I don't know if they were real or, like, 3D generated. But who knows? Who knows? So, thank you all for your patience while I finished that phone call. So, people pay Brad to be silent. Very, very, very true. I think they were renders. Yeah, they looked like it. Because, like, the nibs didn't even look like they had slits in the tines. Like I think it was just like a uh, like a computer render. I need an ultim feed for my ultim. Ultim could probably be a feed. I wonder. I wonder how fragile that would be. Probably not too bad. I think an ultim. I bet you could make an ultim feed, right? Yeah, they they were definitely renders. Who got in on the endless Black Friday sale? I have no idea. Anyone? Anyone get anything like Black Friday Cyber Monday? I got nothing. I like I just didn't have time. Uh, to even look. So I'm thinking about like maybe looking this week. I don't know. There's nothing like at the top of my list, really. I'm not even kidding, y'all. I did the Perpinep review on uh, Monday. This pen is great. Like this is the only pen I'm wanting to use <laughs> right now, which I think says a lot about uh, says a lot about me and and the, the types of things that I like. So what all did y'all get? Did y'all get anything? All right, phone has to go on the smand. The drink has to go on the coaster because I need the room for my desk. Place the Van Ness order. Finally pulled the trigger on a bottle of Kobe 19. What color is, what color is 19? <laughs> I started my ink vent a day early. Well, you are in the future, Queen of Washi. Bought your 2022 planner. What did you get? Pen Chalet Diplomat Arrow. Awesome pen. Did you get one of the, uh, the Diplomat Arrow gift sets? Kobe 19 is a yellowy lime green. That's what I'm looking for in that Orochizuku ink. The um, the uh, lime green kind of one. GVFC Guilloche Violet Blue for less than $200. That sounds like a... Uh, that sounds like a uh, pen that I would like. <laughs> Love the arrow. Just got the pen. The arrow pen. Nice. But yeah, the new Orochizuku inks, um, Jacob's been been sharing images of, and Pilot's got them up on their site. The the yellowish green uh, looks like the the one that I like. Graf von Caber Faber Castell Viper Green is a great ink. Yes, Firefly Green. Firefly Green. Thank you. Get composted. I need to write this down. I 
I just grabbed uh, some random sheets of paper to make notes with. This is one of the uh, this is one of the mess up punches where I didn't get it all the way stuck in there, so I'm just using it for scrap notes as I sat down. I saw there's some kind of Mont Blanc advent calendar. Can't imagine how expensive it is and what could be in it. I would be interested if you could find that link to see that. How was your Thanksgiving? Mine was good. Super chill. We do small stuff around here, small family, right? So it was literally just eight of us total. It, it couldn't be better than that. That was very, very chill, very, very good. How was yours? Hope everyone had a good one. Are we killing winter with yellow green instead of orange? Nah, we gotta stick with orange. We gotta stick with orange. Uh, the planner is, wait, stop moving. Planner is one of the Midori ones. It's got vertical weeks and I think drops on the cover. Nice. The Mont Blanc advent calendar is 4,500 euros. Does it have one of those Arushi in there? All right, we got to look at this. Man, they're not going to show us what's in there though, is it? Oh man. I will be inking my Traveler Flame with Fire on Fire soon. Nice. All right, let's, let's bring this up. Mont Blanc creates an original advent calendar filled with sophisticated gifts. Holy mackerel. There better be a there better be a watch in here. No, I'm not gonna subscribe to Lux Ex Lux Expose. Let's see, what do we have here? Wow. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but limited to 100 pieces. The Mont Blanc Happy Holiday Calendar is a luxurious box with a black and white design inspired by the Mont Blanc House. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Specially curated across its categories, including writing instruments and fine stationery, leather goods, jewelry, and fragrances. Yeah, this is like crazy. All right. They don't show up more than that, but yeah. Crazy. That's wild. The box is made of precious cardboard. <laughs> That's exactly right. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, this is this is uh this is not our not our advent calendar. So uh who had the, the diamond queen of washi? What was the what was the first uh diamond color? Oh, I guess we shouldn't say that. People might be yeah, never mind. Strike that from the record. We don't need to talk about the Diamine Advent Calendar because it's not even December 1st yet. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Too rich for my blood? Come on. It's only 4,500 euro. <laughs> All right. No Advent Calendar spoilers. Okay. So that was my mistake. I, I'm terrible about that because I don't have them myself. I want to know what's in them. So... You know, um, I'm always asking people to, hey, tell me what's in there. Then I forget that other people will be listening. <laughs> 180 euros a day. Well, if you, if you break it down like that, Bork and Bork, it sounds like a great deal. I've seen two in person, the Mont Blanc calendars. Crazy. Oh, my goodness, y'all. <clears throat> All right, we really don't have any plans today, so we can just chit-chat about whatever. I have to... Um, <sighs> I have some things I have to organize here. I have some products I need to go through. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the product stuff today. Uh, Delta, I got your email. I didn't see the link. If you want to share the link, but Mayora brought bought the Delta, the Delta brand. Is that what you were telling me, Andrew? If there's a link. Let me know. But I saw your email this morning. I have not responded, as you know by now. Brad needs to give one of those calendars away to me. That's what I'm gonna do. If they made a Namiki one. That, that would be yours. Like, if if one of the Japanese brands did one, I would spend a few hundred dollars on, like, a, a Sailor, Pilot, or Platinum one just to see. They bought it, and what will happen? But what did they buy? Like, oh, that's what I want to know. What did they actually buy? December 1st is Ona's Gotcha Day. Oh, Nice. Man, we did the fancy uh, the fancy dog biscuit for, oh, they bought machinery. Interesting. Um, I did Toby one of the birthday cookies, um, and that was that was a bad idea. We will not be doing that again. It, it just didn't it just didn't work out well. But like from the pet store, it was like too icingy and like the cookie was too too hard. 
What pen is in use for this week? Perpinep. All day, Perpinep. Was it his birthday? Yeah, it was for his birthday. So we're Perpinepping. It's just something about white barrel pens and then I ink them up with blue black ink. Terrible name, maybe one of the worst names ever. But it's 100% preppy, right? The only thing that's different is the stamping. But the barrel color is great, right? Like, I love all white barrels. Oh, it's not Tur Toby's birthday today. Toby's is in June. I sent a die mine spoiler to you. Thank you. You're free to send spoilers to me personally and privately. <laughs> so, yeah, the cost, it's $750 instead of $450. So, but I, I was 100% in. Um, I always forget that how on the O3 nib, how rounded the tipping is on these. Cause I usually, if there's an O, if you can get the O2, which is the extra five, extra fine nib, I prefer, I personally prefer that because the O3, you can even here on the screen in my camera, you can probably see the round tipping, which is fine. It's pretty clean and still pretty fine, but like, this is just like scribble. Right, it's a pretty lot, pretty wide line, so no secrets here. This is just some. This was just me brain dumping while I was on the phone call. Panatic, I'm almost done with my writing out lyrics, favorite songs once a day for November. That's awesome. I almost did that. I I may do that in the future. Some new order made it in. Which which song, or songs plural? So I'm gonna have to pick up my writing here pretty soon. Blue Monday, perfect. I'm going to have to uh, pick up my Nano Como again. Um, Veggie Zombie, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pick this back up again because I'm going to finish this book. Um, I'll probably do like a recap post of what I learned. Um, I think the key is, is to a successful 30-day uh, project is not to let life happen uh in in the way so yeah there you go that's the key the key takeaway i never realized diamond ink was 283 a bottle and cult pens like their standard price roaring cleaner claire fontaine and roadie is super inexpensive too um yeah the claire fontaine and roadie doesn't surprise me too much they're french companies so maybe they're a little bit easier to ship than acquire uh diamine also a uk brand which uh, i didn't realize that was that cheap uh <clears throat> Yes, no lifing allowed during nano. So, like, I had time to, to write last night. My brain was, was not into it. I was in bed by 9 o'clock last night. I was just, I was done. I was done. Key takeaway, real life RNG is always going to get you. Yeah. Like, and I, I plan for, like, okay, there's going to be days where I can't, like, singular days here and there where I can't write, but I didn't plan for, like, huge life event type of situations. So, yeah. Good morning, Tessa. Good morning, Toasty. Has your handwriting improved? Uh, definitely not. Come do celebratory shots with me tonight. If I'm around, I will. We have uh, basketball practice tonight for Tyler, so I might not be around. We'll see. We will see. How about them Mets? I actually love seeing it. I, I When the Mets are good, the National League East is... It, 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 it makes everyone uh, kind of uh, have to pay attention, right, when the Mets are good. So I, I have no issues with that. I think they're doing a good job, to be perfectly honest, in a scary way. I mean, I love Marte. I love Scherzer. Um, who else did they get? What's the third one? I missed the other one. And then the Braves rumor, the Braves rumor now is that Freddie's going to sign with the Dodgers. If there's one team that Freddie would sign with that wasn't the Braves, it would be the Dodgers. So just to hear that rumor scares me a little bit. So anyway, all right, enough baseball talk. Um, what am I going to do today? I need to, I'm going to break open the Hobonichi. I have my wife's vacation schedule. I'm going to figure out which calendars I need to put these vacation schedules on because that affects my scheduling for next week. Next week. What was the baseball podcast you mentioned a few weeks back? Up and in it is definitely, definitely the one you want to want to listen to. I'm, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I knew that was wrong. Chin Music. Up and In was the old version of the same same guy's podcast. Chin Music is what you want to listen to now. Smand. It's right there. Not much activity on the Smand. I have been using the Juice refill in the Tactile Turn. Um, the Swipe. It, the swipe and the perpenep remind me of each other. Like they're the same kind of concept, even though this is a more expensive, a little bit nicer construction. Like these are just kind of like I leave them on the desk and just pick them up and write with them, and they'll always write kind of thing. The axle I have to clean and uh, let's get this one in use. I don't have it inked up, but y'all, do I even have a converter in here? I might have even stolen the converter. Oh. Oh, this is the, uh, yeah, I wanted to clean this one out, the Monteverde Blue Black cartridge. It's not writing right now because I left it in another pen for too long. And then the Yajoto, I love this pen. This is uh, this is going to be, um, we're going to have some new ones of these. I, I paid the invoice for these this morning, so I'm going to have them. I don't know if I'll have them for Christmas, but I'll have them shortly thereafter. So, so there you go. That's what my smand is doing. Oh, and this nib is for the axle when I get it cleaned up. So there you go. Have you been using the Pilot Explorer at all? I haven't, but I ordered the refills for it. <sighs> Watch Wednesday, Wednesday stream yesterday. I was bummed I didn't participate. So Thanksgiving meal is at 1 p.m. Leftovers for dinner. Mashed potatoes are the best side. Cranberry sauce can get lost. And sweet potato pie is king. You know what? I'm I'm pretty much down with all of that across the board. Um, sweet potato pie is not on like the top of my list, but it's a good choice. It's a good choice. Um, otherwise, I think you got it. I think you got it. Um, Schmevelin, uh, yeah, we're out of leftovers. I pretty much eat the the spinach, the the cheesy spinach stuff that I said I liked uh, last week. I pretty much ate that for like three days in a row. My mom always makes a ton. What do you think of the new Yovo nibs? Um, the design of them, is that what you mean, Bruce? Uh, I think they're great. Do I have one here? Is this what we're talking about? Oh, that doesn't even have one. Where's my blue pen? Oh, here it is making this too hard we took no leftovers so i have too much in the camera i have not scooched everything is that what you mean by the new yobo nibs just the design or is there something else new so yeah these just have the thin line i actually prefer them but i like the scroll work too leftover mashed potatoes made into a cake and lightly floured and fried for breakfast that sounds genius that is a genius move that is a uh, that is a high IQ move. Oh, veggie! If you have yeah, if you are uh, first time here, this is gonna be this is gonna be an issue. Yep. <laughs> Got a Twisby five eighty ALR Navy medium. Aurora Blue Mamba had a sprung tine from the factory. That's crazy. That stinks. <laughs> So my bullet journal is out of room thinking, considering an A5 Techo. What do you think? Would you use it for the bullet journal? That green icon is really amazing. Yeah. So my icon usage right now, I have the green and brass. I have the blue and titanium. I'm going to have this. Oh, look, I'm showing y'all, but y'all can't see. Alan with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Alan. Enjoy veggie zombie. So I'm using these two right now pretty frequently. Um, this one I'm not because I need to clean it, re-ink it, change the nib. I'm going to swap the nib out to an extra fine nib. Thank you. Add it to the pile. <laughs> Mary Beth says hi. She, I mean, she didn't really. She doesn't like y'all. So, uh, yeah. So that is... That is my rotation. I have a lot of pens inked up right now, and I'm. This is one of the first times I'm actually really, really content with the, uh, with having a lot of pens inked up. Like I'm okay with this. I just even had to get this tray out because I'm tired of all this stuff laying on my 
just laying randomly on my desk. I don't really have a like a perfect spot for the um Yoseka. This is the Yoseka walnut tray. But these are all like the the newer pins that I inked up and and had to get uh had to get the get room for and uh started using these. The Pin BBS, the Y Studio, the Ambition, A23, Montegrappa, Twisby, Icon. Because my brass town is full. <laughs> I would not recommend a Hobonichi for a bullet journal. Yeah, like that's what I was asking. Would you be using it as like a bullet journal, like a planner? If I was going to get 823 Amber or Smoke, I like Smoke. I mean, the Amber's great. The Amber's classic. I prefer the Smoke if I was having a second one. But like, I mean, I obviously have the clear one. So uh, if I got a second one, I would get Smoke and then I would get Amber. Um, They're all pretty close. I would not recommend a bullet journal just as 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 a life rule or in the techo. Yeah, I would I would be more hesitant to use <laughs> as a life rule. That's what I thought you were saying. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get, well, here, Bruce, I have my A5 cousin right here. That's a, that sounds like a Thanksgiving thing. Like, yeah, my A5 cousin is coming over for Thanksgiving. He's really, he's really sketchy. You need to watch out for him. If I was getting an 823, I'd get a 743. You're always a problem, Andrew. Always causing trouble. Hey. Um, so this is the A5, Bruce, so let's just open this up. So, one of the ideas of the bullet journal, I've always felt that bullet journals, you almost had to create your own dates, right, to where a single, they're so individual, but this planner has rules, right? And the rule is today, this day is Jan Tuesday, January 4th, okay? And I don't know that a bullet journal plays as well with this type of rule set. Does that make sense? This is me. This is how I think about when I'm going to use things. So like for me, it's good because it's open. I know on the fourth, I have these things booked. I'll have random notes that I can take and things like that. And then I move on to the fifth. Okay. So maybe you need a planner, right? So then this is like a planner, but I think just bullet journal sparks a different flow of information. It's a little more free form that I think is better suited for the more open um, planners and journals. Excuse me, not planners, uh, journals and notebooks, right? When you say bullet journal, I think of it as more of an open system where this isn't really a fixed system per se, but it has rules, right? There are rules in this notebook. The hobo also doesn't lend itself to collections, which is a big thing of bullet journaling. Yeah, exactly. It, it, this is still Tomoe River paper, yeah. I don't know how many more years of that they have left. I'm sure they'll announce it pretty early. And hopefully the sands and stuff works. So I'll be interested to see. I'm sure a bunch of people will start getting the sands in as soon as they uh, can have. 52. So this is all 52. Trick I learned from bullet journals is using sigil style bullet points to quickly and rapidly denote different topics. 100%. Yeah, I definitely believe in any type of marker on the side of the page. If you look at my notes, like this one isn't like a real official notes, but like I have like, as I'm just like scrawling things on my phone call, like I have these little sub, sub arrows that I use a lot, right? All this talk of cousins and hobos, right? It's super, super weird. <laughs> so if you want a daily to-do journal, then the Hobonichi works, exactly. So Mafia Geek has it right. So like I would not 
think of this as the right platform for a bullet journal. But if you want like daily tasks, daily planners, like this stuff, like the stuff that I just wrote right here on this phone call would just go right here in this section. Like today, this, I would be on that call. I would be open to this page and all through here, I would have these types of notes, right? Where over here, I'd be having like the stream and like basketball practice and other, my other response my responsibilities for today. Like today I've already, um, you know, what have I done today? Um, paid for the Ojodo pins, right? So I have like the bank stuff I've had. I have to plan a podcast um, later. So like all that stuff would go here. And then like this is just going to go in these spaces. So, which is not what a bullet journal is. It's this, that's more of a planner type of thought process. I've gone back to rapid logging so I don't have to set up my days. I just roll with it and waste less paper. Uh, I really like that teeny bird. Like, I like that in general. I just have to have my, like, tasks in here. So, I'm, this is kind of going to be the same thing. So, like, I can have this little section here. Like, that's what this is. That's probably hard to see on stream. But this section is, like, hey, what do I have to do today? It goes in here. And then this is just free-flowing free stuff. And I have some ideas for this stuff, too. So, Oh, Mafia Geek. I needed a spring in my Kaveco student last night. The Waterman long cartridges don't fit well, so kept falling off. Okay, so that's a different problem. That's not a spring solution. That's a manufacturing uh, mismatch. <laughs> your Kaveco cartridge didn't fall out of your student pen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to starting my five year. I'm I'm not gonna get one. I've never been more tempted to ice. I finally grasped the concept of the five year planner, and I think they're really really smart. Speaking of fun podcast friends of the show in 2022, missing hearing from friends, 100,000 percent. I'm not more than a hundred percent guy, but you can guarantee friend of the show will be back strong uh, in 2022. Definitely. <clears throat> made my own time tracker for a while and loved it but it was so much setup yep brad ran out of friends dang it you got me alan you got me <laughs> so yeah um so what I, I actually so here's here's the dilemma yeah, for sure, Andrew. You can count on that. So, like, you know what a good friend of the show would be? Me and you get on to discuss the Delta topic, right? Like, a singular topic with a singular friend who has an interest in the topic, and you just go, and it's 15 minutes or whatever it is. It, there's no time limit on that, right? Just like me me and Alan, we just did the chaos pen, right? Hang on, my glasses are filthy. Me and Alan just did the chaos pen, and that's what we talked about, right? So, like, I like that we could do, like, specific topic things. All of that's on the table. It's just I have to work on the personal scheduling aspects of it, which will be easier. I was trying to do too much last year. Yeah, you did, you did send me that in there, but, yes, that would be good. Like I would, I would totally have them on to say, Hey, let's talk about this for 10 minutes. All right. So here's the question. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, toasty. I need to get toasty on toasty would be great. You're always my friend. Brad is wrong about as a topic that constantly refreshes itself. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. All right. So here's the question. Here's the question. All right. So today. This is the hardest this is the this is the hardest planner question. I guess I need to go back here. All right. So in the Hobonichi, in the frontal lobe of the Hobonichi, it has the big the big I call these the big events calendar, right? This is where, you know, birthdays, holidays, vacations you know, trips, any kind of big block out stuff goes, right? It's your it's your month per two page, okay? Whew. 
do you pick a singular pin for all of the calendar, this calendar con content, or do you just pick it up anything and fill with it like as things crop crop up? Like, is there a pin? Like, these are the things I think about. Is there a pin? Like, I'm going to put in vacations today, right? So you'll just use what? Do you? We'll have issues when new events occur. I'm pretty. I'm pretty like consistent. It would be. It would have to be like a standard pen. It would have to be like a, a Signo DX, right? Do I choose the Signo DX or do I just choose whatever fountain pen I'm using at the day? All right. So none of y'all are are total total degenerates, and are not having like I'm really sweating this, right? Like these pages, I do not care. Like, there's there's no rhyme or reason to what's going to happen on these pages. I'm not bothered by what happens here. This page, I'm like, should I commit to, you know, I don't know, chat. I'm a little bit confused. Use the stealth. This is actually a good one because it's got a .38 refill in it. Yeah, it would be great. Because I think I still have a 0.5 in this one. I think I have the stock set up in that. I have different colors of gel pen for different things that happen. Different colors, Toasty says. I just use the fountain, whatever pen you have in hand, Bruce says. Alan has, Alan is, uh, Alan doesn't like nice things, so he only uses blue ink, so they'll all be blue. <laughs> Try to use different pens or inks to indicate different categories of event. See, Paul, so then I would have to commit, say, like three pens for this section, right? That, you know, like like I'm about to put in uh, my wife's vacation week, right? Does that color get then get uh, removed from the list, if you will? Planner in our nine. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I would pick a pen with a finer nib size. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a finer, finer pen size. That's too much work. A planner only works for me if it's easy. Just use whatever. Stop overthinking it. That's what I do. Do you have three pens? <laughs> I need to check. <laughs> does your wife, does wife get her own color? Right? Because like now, like if I'm going to put a, in a vacation week, like I'm going to block it off. Like there's going to be an arrow, right? It's going to say... MB vacation and it's gonna be an arrow. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Her favorite color is purple. Like broad nib with a square around it. Those are multi-day events. Washy the vacation in. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So I put down, I, I write what I want, but then washi the rest of it. Where's my thin washi? I need to go find, sorry, penguin butt. I need my, these are all too wide because I might have other stuff I need to put on that calendar. Use MB's favorite pen for MB's events, right? Like I have it right here. Let me see what else I got. Uh, Pentel Inner Gel teal or purple or navy blue. Any Pentel Inner Gel in teal or purple or navy blue. How about brown? Nah. Okay. So Paul, you will you will enjoy that. Mary Beth's favorite pen is the Pentel Inner Gel teal, navy blue, or purple. See, I have all the Kuros right here. She doesn't like the Kuro as much as I do, though. Not brown. She's not poopy. You haven't met her. She does like the brown one, though, for some reason. All right, purple. Does this one have a teal? 
the Kuro doesn't have a teal. Does it have a navy? I think I stole the, that one. The new forest green is great. I haven't tried the forest green. Little confused whose planner this is. It's mine, but I have a family, so we have to put things in it for all of us. Right? So I don't have all the colors that she likes here, but I do have purple. All right, so we gotta think about it. I wish planning worked by dumping and writing utensils on the planner. I know, right? Give me month of January, everything I gotta do, go. And then it just fills itself out automatically. That would that would be a goal. All right. I, what I was doing is finding other washer washer tape, washi tape. See if I got anything thinner in here. Families are so much trouble. They really are. I don't have any of my thin washi tape. Bad job by me. That could be a cool TikTok if I use TikTok, but I, I get you. All right, so my thin washi tape must be in the other room. I use these for my journal. I was gonna do I was my visual journal. I was gonna do visual journaling today, but I think we'll do that another day. Hey, JD lady, cut the washi in half. Then I'll obsess about how straight it is. And I, I have the I have the thin stuff. It's just not here on my desk. All right, put these back. I'll just have to go find it. Could you find a multi pin that works for that? I could. All right, penguin is properly stuffed. These are my. Uh, who sent me these? This is the sailor ink bottle or the ink bottle ones. How cool is this one? I like that one. We are setting up the Nietzsche. Yeah, we're thinking about it. I'm obsessing over it. Do you want to get in on this conversation, JD lady? For this section of calendar? Oh, I don't keep up with anyone else's schedule, Bruce. I wouldn't have a clue. Um, for this section of calendar, are you using only using one pin for this calendar? For if it goes in this calendar in the calendar section, right? These are open, free reign, mini pins a day, whatever. But for the, the monthly calendar, one pin, mini pins, whatever pin you have handy at the time, these are life's great questions. So I do... I do have this. Might solve some of the problems. I got that last week, right? Now I'm thinking about filling in birthdays for my Jordan Elmer's family. Yeah, that's what we do. Multi friction or good? Yeah. So I got the um, I got the three in one edge. This fancy color. Like that's the right size. Grab a Kaleido with twenty refills. I only use my rose gold Twisby with black ink and my Hobonichi. That was my rule for allowing myself to buy it. I like that. So we have the edge, so it's twist. I love how they, they don't have the, the colors on here. They're just on the tips. So blue. I assume that's black and red. Hmm. Hmm. That might be too small. I gotta see. I gotta go see if I have any. Uh, I gotta go see if I have any skinny refills. So this way I could do family stuff. Sorry, I'm just testing out the ink. small 
So I could do my stuff in one color, family stuff in another color. Who knows? Yeah, it is a weird front end. Um, it kind of works. Like, I won't profess to be, like, the greatest thing ever. But I do like... So, one of the issues... One of the issues for a pen like this is when you have the the refill, the sleechy, the old sleechies had this problem where it was a it was a three refill multi pen center cut out for the hole, and the angle of the refill would would be off depending on where you would click it out. So maybe this isn't only aesthetic, but when it rotates the refill into this spot, it allows the refill to come out straight. And that's their way around having crooked tip refills, which you never want in a, uh, in a multi-pin. Just a theory, theory I have. This is really the time you need the scribble pen. Oof. All right, so I actually think I'm gonna use the stealth though. I'm gonna do this. I want. Can I go? Would y'all care if I got? Uh, Sleechies are fine. The Sleechies multi pin is not fine. The Sleechy singular is great. I don't even know if they make the multi pin. Maybe in Japan still. So. I'm going to go see if I have the skinny washi tape because I would like that. I'm trying to think of where I can go get it real quick. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think I'm going to use the, the 0.3 blue black, 0.38. All right. Let me, um, I'm going to go take a quick peek to see if I can find this skinny. Um, skinny washi tape in like a split second. If not, I'll come right back. Of course, the only thing I could find was the ultra wide. Not even the skinny stuff. All right. What I'm going to do is use that. Spand. All right. So, yeah, I have the skinny washi, but it's not where the first place I looked. All right, so I'm gonna use a, um, a drawing pen for this. I'm gonna use a purple one because it's cool. This Kurataki Zig Mangaka O2, one of my favorite pens ever. Jet pens out of, jet pens out of those dye base Kala inks. I saw that, great bottles. What about a mild liner? Yeah. Mild liners would be good. I have some right here. Or some uh, other. Alright. Do I really need to share with y'all my vacation weeks next week? Even though they're not my vacation weeks. They're my wife's vacation weeks. Is that a good idea? Let me think about this. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright.
Hey, Jasmine Marie. <laughs> How are you? Yay, Hobonichi. Yeah, we're going to do, we're going to uh, work on this right now. Yeah, I have my highlighters right here in the span. I think they're, they're the Pentel version of the mild liner. I like the sweet potato, but it's pretty light. Like, I don't know that I could write a bunch with it. So I have these. I could just do, uh, let's just do it. Stop thinking about it, right? But yeah, that's that's what I do. So I overthink the things, put this up. I need to stop buying inks. It's not possible. Sorry, I'm going to put this back real quick. All right, so this is... Um, wow, two lines or one line? <laughs> Y'all are all going to unsubscribe by the 10... Is a Hobonichi in your usual planner lineup? No, this is new for this year. I'm using a cousin. Toby, what do you want? Come here. Come here. You got to say hi? Come here. If you're going to come in here and yell at me, you're going to say hi. Come here. Did y'all hear him yelling at me? Uh, uh, Mr. Fuzzy Man. You come in here and bork at me, you're going to say hi. All right? Did that cure you? Hmm. Did that cure you? All right. So yeah, I am uh, using the A5 Cousin this year um, to change a little bit of my setup. So yeah, that will be the, that is the plan. All right, so. Yeah, I don't have an emote update. I think I'm gonna get. Uh, I think I'm gonna get with Genie. Is Genie here? Coincidentally, just ordered a Hobonichi A5 cousin yesterday. Nice King Friday. But see, that got that got Toby out of here. Making long-term formatting choices would kill me. That's pretty much my hesitancy. Then we could do pen shows in here, right? We could do pen shows. Drawing straight lines without a ruler, boss move. I'm okay at straight lines. and I mean, they're obviously not perfect, but... There are kind of guidelines here anyway. So we need to, we'll have a pin show calendar in here as well, which we can do that. Got to put tips 2022 on there. I saw that. We got to do that. I saw that also Japan was thinking about shutting their borders, which man really makes committing to foreign travel right now really difficult. Yeah, hope to if Japan will let us in. That's exactly, yeah, exactly right. Like, how do you book travel? Like, Mike and I have been saving for this trip for this year. Um, I mean, our plan is to go if we can. I just don't know if we'll be able to, if we'll be allowed to. Right. I 
I still use, I don't know why, I just use these, um, um, what are these called? Blotter paper, water, blotting papers for my hands on a calendar that I'm rarely going to write on that often. So yeah, yeah, I don't know, like, I'm very nervous to, like, be booking international, very expensive international travel and not being able to go. So we'll give it a few months, see what the deal is, but we'll be sure to let everyone know what we're going to do. So yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just, it, it's absorbent. That's all. You can, I sometimes, when I don't have blotting paper, I'll just use another sheet of paper. I, don't, I really don't care. Yes, uh, Inky Rocks asked us, could they include that information? And we said, we're going, we're attempting to go. So it's like a big deal. It's a big deal for us to go. So we're going to do everything in our, what, do we have the tips 22, 2022 dates yet? This is the Zig Mangaka. This is the O2. Do we have the tips dates yet? I'll put them in here. Yeah, this is this is the best. This is my favorite uh, art marker, drawing pen type of pen. But they they just don't have the huge range of colors and tip sizes that the uh, that the Micron does. That's why the Micron is so popular. I hope we can all go. I would love to see if I can get some cool Ruscio Studio or Factory tours. Tours, yeah, exactly. It's like. I'm going to have to figure out like, uh, like, okay, how can I manage two weeks <laughs> to do all the things that I want to do, right? And have to buy a new suitcase over there just to bring home stuff. October 28, 29, 30. Okay, I will put that in. That's usually a good time of year for me, personally. There's not too much going on uh, around home. Suitcases are easy to find. <laughs> yeah, I could just do the two-in-one suitcase thing where pack one suitcase inside of another suitcase um, and then... Travel with one, but come home with two. <laughs> I love how Toasty Street is speaking from experience. I know. I love it, right? All right. Uh, tips. What did you say? 28, 29, 30. Um, see, I'm already switching pens. I knew I'd switch pens because I, be, I can't be stuck on just one pen. So this is... So, let's see. Okay, that should be a pretty good, pretty good time of year for me to take like two weeks to go to Japan. I 
I did have to squish washi tapes into my popcorn bucket from Tokyo. <laughs> Make up the Miss Dallas show. I Yeah. What do you think about rotring isograph? I love it. Well, I love it. It's a high maintenance pen, but yeah, you got to love it. Is Japan going to let people in by then? I have no idea. I, I Honestly, that's that's the biggest, that's what's holding us up right now. And you don't know what's going to, like, what happens today has no, um, no effect on what could happen six months from now, right? We just, it, everything is just so up in the air. That makes it hard to plan for this stuff. So, yeah. That's why we can't say definitively what we're going to do. All right, so I like having this calendar. Yeah, that's the real life RNG, right? So that's like this big monthly overview calendar. I'm going to work on filling out some of the other stuff. We'll put pin shows in. That's exactly right, Toasty Treat. So like at some point, we're just going to have to make a decision, say we're planning it or it's too risky. All right, so we do that here, right? So I haven't used the, I haven't used the, um, even before Omicron, they required a quarantine. Oof, yeah. Are you going to the Philly Pin Show? I would love to. I, I like, that's going to be a last minute thing. I mean, we're already, what, six, seven weeks away, and I haven't planned anything yet. I don't know. They clog and are sloppy compared to the Micron or Zig. Yeah, yeah, because of the the way the, the it's just a pipe at the end of those pens, right? And they use a liquid ink, so they are very bleedy and flowy. If um if you're not if you're not using them correctly, I'm right across the river, so I might go. It's a great show. It's small. It's got a it's got a good crowd, good vibes. So yeah, do you ever use whiteout? No, I'll just tend to scratch things out. Uh, come to Baltimore. I hope so. All right, so what do you do? So y'all that have used the um, used the cousin before, so you have your monthly layout. What do you do when you switch over to this this weekly thing? Like I haven't really set this. Like this is the these are the only pages I'm confused on what to do. I, maybe I don't. I mean I'm fine not using them too, right? So does anyone have any suggestions for these pages? Because like these pages I'm fine. Like, I'm gold in here. Like, this is what I need. And this is the bulk of the notebook, right? This is all of it. This is just the smaller weekly thing. I don't know that I'm going to use this. I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know that I, I need this section when I have... Um, this. Due dates for projects, taxes, birthdays and stuff. See, I think I'll use this for that. Like... Everything you're saying, y'all are saying right now, I feel like this is good. I also don't have like infinite things to add here, like, uh, you know, like birthdays, right? Ink swatches and testing. Yeah, just kind of like a open pages for something, right? So, yeah, I'm not dead set on using these pages. But over here, like we were, we're definitely going to do it. And then I'll have to decide whether I'm going to gratitude purchases. Yeah, like that's a good thing, a tracking thing. That's a good idea. Word a day. See, I would tend to probably do like word a day or quote a day, something like that, or ink swatch like on the daily page. But like a tracking thing, like spending, like that's a good, that's a... That's a good idea, because then I that then it's more contained in that location. People to have assassinated. There's not enough days. There's not enough days. Meeting schedule for the week. Yeah, it's just like the the broader weekly overview. I gotta think about that. They're cool pages. I do like the tracking idea. To where you can just that actually might be really good for tracking. Yeah, I like that. Key objectives for the week. Is there a way to get Micron Zigmangako results with low maintenance fountain pen? Um, 
I'd look at something like the pilot penmanship. Jamil81, appreciate you. You can get a really fine, like pilot steel, extra fine nib. You still got to use the, the fountain pen ink cartridges though. But that nib performance is great. Great. Time blocking, yeah. I should probably, like, that's what I did on my previous, um, I don't have those sheets in here anymore. That's probably what I should do, is just to, at the start of the week, figure out what the, the big picture of the week looks like, and then go to here for the daily stuff. I think that's probably what it's going to be. So is that where this is? So... December 27th is the first day there. So yeah. Brad, do you use a five-year journal? Like some lines, I'm on my second year. It's super fun and easy. No, but like I started just recently to get that idea in my head of what a five-year five -year journal means. And I really, really like that concept. Um, I'm not going to start this year, but it's certainly on the radar for the future. Pilot penmanship is only $10. Yeah, you can actually find it for less than that sometimes. And it's just got that really fine nib size to where you can write really small, fine, clean writing, even though it's a fountain pen type of ink. Or it is a fountain pen ink. Brad, which size of the stealth pen? This is the standard. So normally I'm a, a short or mini. Probably, I'm, I think most of my preference has been been in this short model the so the one in between before um but i wanted to try so i purposefully chose the longer the longer one this time to get a get a good feel of it because i've used the short um so many times the mini i would probably skip even though i love that size i just don't want to fidget with the refills that much because i won't like the the g2.7 in there if i can't swap it into something else easily i know i can cut things down and and, and do other stuff like that so Okay, so I have to work on filling out the rest of the calendar. I'm not going to do that right now. But I wanted to get some ideas on how y'all do things. I'm, I'm very anxious to get this started. <laughs> a teeny bird, yeah, I broke my wrist uh, a year ago this month. And uh, I did some left-handed writing stuff. Pilot Pluminix is back on AliExpress. Nice. So this this the book does have two um, bookmarks. I like that they change. They're smart enough to change the uh, the poles on each. Right, one's a rectangular, one's a triangle. How cool is that? That's just smart design. So we'll do a weekly bookmark, and then we'll do the day where we're at bookmark, and then yeah, like I'm anxious to to get it going. It, it's time. I don't know what I'm going to think about this cover, right? Like, I've already, I'm already not using it, and it's already dirty, which I don't care about it getting dirty, but I, I chose a pretty light cover, color cover, but I like it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I have my Animal Crossing board in here, my writing board. How cool is that? Did you opt for the tritium file? I did. I don't know that I would recommend it after getting it, though. So yeah, I have it, but do you, I don't know, is it worth 50 for the accessory? I don't know. All right, see you, Toasty. Will the penmanship me last me longer than $10 worth of microns? That's a really good question, Ruckus. I mean, yes, but you got to still write, I mean, you just have to still buy cartridges for it. Would it last you longer than $10 worth of microns? That's only like four microns, right? And I would say it has, I would, yeah, it's got to, right? It's got to be cheaper in the long term. Okay, there, Carol says, yeah, I'm an artist and yes, it will. Yeah, I would think long term. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually like a legit good question, right? I have an extra COC. What's a COC? 
is that a, is that someone we're getting ready to ban or is that someone <laughs> something I need to know? <laughs> That's why I spelled it out, Chad. I'm smart that way. You might think I have gray hairs, but I don't have a gray brain. <laughs> cover on cover. I don't want one of those. Yeah, the plastic, the sofa cover, the grandma sofa cover. I get it. Like if I maybe, I just, I, I do like the wear and tear. I'm just wondering like if this, the lightness of it <coughs> will, um, will be the wrong decision, right? That's okay. I mean, like I have, I mean, I have my own cases I can use, right? Like, I can just put it in here. So I got something I wanted. Right? So, yeah. I like, I like to... I don't need to keep the things in perfect condition. I take care of things. I don't obsess over perfection if that makes sense that's why i take care of my nakaya but i will put it in my pocket if i'm doing something right like i don't baby them but i i care for them but if they get scratches or dings or dents well i put those there and that's part of the story now so yeah panatic i got my seed and i'm in love nice 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 um, if y'all want to, y'all can put your links in for your Instagrams. Jess, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Maybe the knock A5 will be back from the boxes that have been sent from the factory. I don't think so. Because we have, I have some ooh -la, la label seeds that will be going up in January. Oh, I'm down to zero, by the way, as of yesterday. down to zero in the knock order queue. So I feel I'm very happy about that. But we'll do another round in January and there will be hundreds and hundreds more orders. I, I have a lot. There's a lot of cases to go through. And there's still some out there now. Like there's like sales aren't turned off, but that was the bulk. Um, and then January, we'll do it again. Uh, January, we'll do like a legit final inventory count and try to sell as much of everything so there you go but yeah we'll have the uh the ooh, actually this this model with the um ooh la la label on them i think i have a few standards and then i have a batch of these as well so we did the different label for this project which i love this label so there you go so yeah if this if the hobonichi cover starts to bug me um, I don't know that it will. Like, I, I do like it. So, if it starts to bother me for some reason and I prefer this, I'll just, I'll put it in, I'll put it in here. Need a lookout? I do have clay and sandstone lookouts to add. I got like a couple hundred of those, so it should be good. Yeah, a couple of items I have in the hundreds and a couple of them I don't <laughs> so yeah we'll see we have some a5 seed covers nothing new just the one I showed you and that, that would be the only style of cover cover um and I have I think I might have I take that back I might have some iris and electric blue ones the purple that the seed a6 is currently listed in I think I have some of those but not many so we'll do a final count um, around January, early January, um, and get like 98% of everything sold. And that will probably be the last like website sale cycle. And the, all the prices will be the same. Everything will be 50% off still, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Sign up for the Knock Code newsletter if you want to be notified. All right, let's do a giveaway. The final countdown, right? Let's do a giveaway. Oh, this is where we're talking about pilots and penmanships. I don't have a penmanship, but I found a, uh, 
think this is a Metropolitan the other day. I believe that we need to give this away. Let's see what it says. It says purple, black, medium. Metropolitan pop. What is, let's, all right, let's look at it. Oh, yeah. It's this one. These are great pens. It doesn't matter how many fountain pens you have or how experienced of a fountain pen user you are. These are really, really good. So this is a cool purple one. The logo, and it is a medium nib, which is great. All right, let's give this away. These are great, just great pens. If you want to surprise someone for a gift this holiday season that you don't think is much of a writer, but maybe has like an inkling, get an inkling, um, grab a Metropolitan. They're like, what are they, about $20 now? So, classic, good quality fountain pen. Let's give it away. Let's give it away. Also, pro tip, you can use Pilot's uh, steel nibs are swappable with other Pilot barrels. Oh, all of last week's giveaways, the notebooks and everything else we gave away, the TI Arto, the Jetstream, all that stuff shipped uh, yesterday. I like Pilot pens, but really dislike Pilot converters. You are in the right place, King Friday. <laughs> You're not going to get much argument from here. What did I miss? You missed all of it. I'm giving away a Pilot Metropolitan now, though. Open giveaway. Looks like Twisby is trying to discontinue the transparent blue and green leaving. Interesting. I wonder if they just didn't do as well as the solid color ones. I, I keep seeing um, links, Carol, for that artist edition that you wanted. And these sites will put them up saying that they have them for sale. And I was going to send you the link. Then I'd click over and they wouldn't be listed. So I, if I see one, I'll send it to you. But it's been uh, like, and I'll see like the, the post come in like almost live. And then they'll be gone by the time I get over there. So. We'll see. Katie Chan, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So all of last week's winter stuff has been shipped. <laughs> Another... Oh... I know the site says updating 11.30, but will there be any new spoke pins added today? Yes, I was, as a matter of fact, I was on a call. Um, some of the, I don't know exactly what's today. There will be stuff today. Um, some of the Model 6 pencils will be ready either today or this week. So we'll have some things today, and then we'll be slowly rolling out a few things, like say over the next week. So stay tuned. I don't have a full list um, but they're going to go live, um, soon. I just, not everything today, but we'll be with this, within this leak. Do you think we're a dying breed with all these iPad pros and tablets, not to mention N NFTs? I don't think so. Like it's always going to be smaller and niche and fractional, fractional growth, right? It's never going to be like takeover style stuff that we are, but no, we're not a dying breed. And if anything, we're a growing breed. Like what we're doing today and what I've done for the last decade is is all like positive growth, right? There was a time where, yeah, maybe so. Like if, they, if their internet didn't exist in these ways to communicate and, and discuss products from around the world, I, we would be dead. But the way people are able to communicate now and share information with each other, like you know, it's, it's never going to be like a tier one type of, of, of product, right? It's always, you know, analog tools are always going to be that niche product, but they're not going away, not going away at all. What brand has the best converter? I'll, <laughs> international converters. 
like I think Pilot I, Platinum better than Pilot and Sailor, but not great. Um, and I'm I'm good with international converters; those are as good as anything. <laughs> so, yeah. We are a growing breed and escape from the tech maze. Yes. Yeah, like I mean, I obviously have a strong strong belief, so maybe I'm not the right person to to ask that question. Right? Clearly, <laughs> I have strong beliefs in that area, but um, I I think I'm I think I'm fair and reasonable on what we do, right? As a community, as a whole. All right, I'm gonna pick a winner here. Pick a winner, King Friday the Seventh. Let's go. That's got to be a first time win, right? All right, love it. All right, King Friday, you gotta you gotta speak up in the chat. You gotta say OMG I won or something to that effect, and then you gotta email me. I just got into fountain pens about two years ago, so we're a growing breed in my opinion. Yeah, Carol, I I agree completely. Like, but like we're never just gonna have this crazy crazy growth. Like as much as we'd want it, we're <sighs> the stationary community as a whole is big and growing. It's just never gonna be like universally transformative today right it's just not um because people don't do the things that they do in in school like we used to do when we were younger right like like the school supply stuff that got us a lot of us into all this stuff right <clears throat> like my kids don't relate to that stuff the same because they're doing more stuff digitally so they're not not necessarily care as much about the pens and pencils and paper that they're using right they do because they're my kids and I have lots of stuff to give them but in general right it, we used to only have those pens and pencils and paper so it mattered what we wrote with when we were kids and a lot of that transitioned to us so Katie says I have tons of gadget g gizmos but I still love pens planners and stationery too it's all stuff to help keep organized I totally agree like I'm very pro digital like we, I, I talk about this on occasion, right? I love my digital tools and toys. That's, that's how I can able to get my job done. But like, I'm just, I'm passionate about like this stuff. So, uh, King Friday, if I didn't say it and we didn't put the, oh yeah, we did put the thing in here. Uh, email hello at pinnick.com. It's listed there in the chat. I need your shipping address. We'll get it shipped out uh, by Saturday or so. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. But yeah. Your name is now stuck with these terrible sticky notes that I have to use washi tape on just to make them stick to the stick to the page. I guess it's I'm required by law as I go through this Kunisawa pad to say how terrible these are every time I use them. Kunisawa, great notebooks. Love Kunisawa products, except the sticky note. Don't use the sticky note. Unpopular opinion, I'm a big fan of e-readers. I think I, I think you, we have a lot of readers here. Who I don't, I don't think would disagree with you. Um, I mostly prefer. I mean, I read mostly nonfiction, right? So I tend to with nonfiction books prefer them in physical format because I like the note taking aspect of it. If I'm reading fiction, give me an e reader all the time, all the time. So. That time when you notice for the first time how well a pen writes as opposed to the usual stuff you get, yeah. Like, a lot of that happened when we were kids, too, right? But it still happens now. That's why I still love what I do. Penak, what paper goes good with the penmanship? That's a big question. <laughs> There's a litany. Litany of papers. If you're going to use the micron-type pens, I tend to more of the non-coded stuff, like your Leuch terms. Um, as opposed to like your rhodias, right? I don't think you, I don't think it's as enjoyable for like the really coded, coded papers. Claire Fontaine Triumph is great. It's a great all around paper for everything. It's not as coded as, as rhodia paper. I don't think it's coded at all. Honestly, it's just great. Actually, I think that's this sheet right here. Or is that? No, that's the bank paper. This one's hard to tell. If I had the space to have all physical books in my e-reader, I'd hold, I'd be a happy girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get that. But like, I just love nonfiction. Uh, 
can I give a shout out to Tony? He's doing a fast, fantastic job with Slack. Unofficial moderate Slack moderator. He's got a lot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Slack's a thing. Recently, I've had this feeling we're right on the cusp of a movement away from planned obsolescence to more quality and made to order things. I love technology, but I hate having to constantly replace stuff. Yeah, like I, I generally agree with that. I don't know that we're ever going to cross that threshold. Um, yeah, that, 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 mm, that's a lot to, lot to take in, but I, I'm, I generally like it, but I'm also surrounded by no less than 50 pens right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> oops, <laughs> you know, I would have, uh, I would, I would have, if I was better, I would have like what, five pens. I don't know. What would be, what, if you, you know, that's a broader question, but like how many pens, let's just like, like pens and pencils, writing instruments, besides just one, would you be happy with for the rest of your life? I don't, I, don't, I couldn't answer that. It'd be a lot. It would be a lot. All right, let's talk about schedule real quick, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I know, don't go there. We don't have enough time in the day to, to answer that. Plus, there's no, there's not enough rules. You could put a, rules and parameters. You could put around that to get a, a get a clear answer. I'm happy with all of them. I am too. That's why we do this. All right, um, schedule tomorrow. No live podcast. We have already already recorded it. So we will have a podcast sometime midday tomorrow. Hit your feeds. It's where I talk about a lot of the new pins that I'm testing out. So Mike and I pre-recorded this last week. Um, and then Thursday, I'm interviewing someone for next week's podcast. So no live podcast for the next two weeks, but you will have podcast in your ears. Um, yeah, because Mike is gallivanting. Uh, so yes, we're going to have two podcasts out of time. So I'm recording Thursday with a very special first time guest to the podcast that I'm really, really excited about that I'm not going to tell you all about. You'll just have to wait and see who it is next week. Um, you're right. It is Schmevelin. My bad. Uh, sorry. So Schmevelin blew the cover. Um, it is actually not Tony. Um, but yeah. Oh, is that BTS concert? I thought, why do, are they doing a tour in the U.S.? I thought I'd seen that they played, but maybe not. But cool, that should be fun. Mike, that will be fun, yeah. Um, so yeah, next two weeks, you get two podcasts. We're just not going to do a live recording. So stream tomorrow. I am not streaming in the morning. If we do a stream, just four concerts in L.A.? Okay, I thought that up. That's what I read. So... I might stream tomorrow, and it. if I do, it'll be afternoon or evening stream on Wednesday. Thursday, I will stream, but it could be delayed because I'm recording the podcast for next week at 9 a.m. Do you have all this? So I will stream Thursday. It will just not be at 10 a.m. It's more likely to be like 11 a.m., okay? So maybe stream tomorrow. We'll see, depending on the time. Thursday will be at 11-ish. Let's just call it 11. Thursday we will stream um, because I should be done recording the podcast. Either. Can you guess the guess? Sure. Like you can guess all you want. Are you saying if you guess correctly, will I tell you who it is? <laughs> I am not streaming tomorrow morning, but I could stream tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Thursday morning, I am streaming, but not until about 11. So yes, turn on your alerts, please. <laughs> not see why, but that's a great, um, great guest. Not Jacob, 
Jacob was my second choice this week, but my first choice answered positively, so I didn't get to Jacob. <laughs> I've interviewed CY on Friend of the Show, so Jacob would be my next... Uh, Jacob will be my guest one of these days soon. He's he's Jacob is now the number one in the number one slot on the the future guest list. Uh, but my number one slot um, answered positively. Thank you, Thunder Viking. I am on the Twitter. I put lots of things on Twitter, especially schedule related. He's getting Sly on to talk about the design of the Chaos Pen. Nice. All right, see ya, Alamal. Is it your wife? She doing a walk through the closet of the doom? Oof. Man, that would be brutal. We have not cleaned it yet. Um, that's man, that's on the radar though. It's 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 mess. I'm, I'm no hints. I'm not giving any hints. Other than people will know who they are. Um, I've interviewed Gina on the show. This will be a first time guest, so that's a hint. Uh, so it wouldn't be Gina because we have uh, reviewed, reviewed, interviewed Gina. Uh, David, Mr. Figboot, um, we've interviewed him as well. So not Mr. Figboot. So we, yeah, it is on me. It is on me, totally on me. That's why it hasn't done yet because I, your guess is Caroline. I would love to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to Caroline. I'm waiting for, I'm still waiting on Caroline to wrap everything up, even though I think they're pretty much done. But I do want to talk to Caroline. Um, we'll do, I would like a, a longer form, serious discussion with Caroline on businesses. AOC, that would be amazing. I did send AOC an email though, or the, the office of the AOC. <laughs> so all great guesses. All this really, really good list for me to have, but, um, Y'all have not guessed who it is, but uh, you'll find out next week. But I mean, they aren't under uh, they aren't under any NDA, so if they want to mention it, they're free to mention it. Newell Rubbermaid Rep, they still have not replied to my. They reached out to me, I replied. I have not heard back from them. Whatever. The baseball broadcaster you send pins to, I might be on his show in the future. Rachel Maddow, that would be great. I have not emailed Rachel, though. I should. I should. See if I can get her for like five minutes to talk about pencils real quick. I should do that. I'm going to put that on the list. That goes on the notes list. All right, no, I'm not giving you a hint. I'm not giving you a hint. Neil Gaiman, I have, um, so Fig Boot has tried forever to get uh, Neil to sit down. Um, it's been challenging to say the least. Um, so I have not bothered to send an email to his representation. He is jam-packed knowing what uh, David has gone through <laughs> behind the scenes. I'm good. I'm good. All right, we're going to wrap it there. Um I should be, I'll be around tomorrow. I just got to figure out what time we're going to stream. And if I know, I will post it on Twitter, at Dowdyism. I still can't buy the pen out of the account. Brad's getting the Pope on to talk about Italian pens. No, but I could get Father Kyle on to talk about the holy water pen. Close enough, right? Oh, we should raid somebody. What am I thinking? I have been bad on the raids recently, y'all. Like, just thinking about, like, doing this ahead of time. We always want to raid, if we can. We don't have to do it every day. Who's out there? Who should we see? All day stream? Yeah, look up Holy Water Pen Italian A. Uh, Parker, I believe, made it um, back in the 50s or 60s. And it has a capsule on the end of the pen to contain holy water for um, those in the priesthood. It is a real thing. All right. Oh, who is this? This is a Spanish language uh, stream, it looks like, but they have a whole set of Copic markers out. This could be good. So this is... 
Let's do this. All right. Let's see if I can get this stream. So, y'all go enjoy this stream. It looks like it could be very interesting. They're doing color charts with Copics and looks like ornaments. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. I will, Bruce. I really appreciate that. All right, let's go see what Kookie Papel is doing. All right, we're going to raid. Don't go too crazy in there. Let's just see what they're doing. Um, all I know is they have a ton of Copic markers out, and it looks kind of cool. All right, see y'all in a minute. Bye.